Good night. Thank you, Joy. Thank you, thank you. Good night to the people of St. John, especially the folks of Four Roads and the surrounding districts. Good night to the BLB family. Special good night to all those who, have, those who have come to this meeting for the first time. I welcome you. In the book of Psalms, chapter 30, verse 5, we are told that weeping shall endure for the night, but joy cometh in the morning. Joy comes in the morning. Let's all therefore have hope, for the time is near, and the light you'll find is at the end of the tunnel. We are here tonight in support of our colleague and friend, Charles Griffith, a young man born and raised in this parish, a man who is a community organizer, a community practitioner, Charles was chosen in a democratic process by the members of this branch, Barbados Labour Party branch. On the other hand, the Democratic Labour Party is once again bringing a man from outside this parish who has been rejected time and time again by his own people. And they want him to represent the parish of St. John. This is shameful and disgraceful. There are several other people, men and women, who are outstanding citizens of St. John, who have made tremendous contribution to the growth and the development of this parish. They have made tremendous contribution in education and health and community service. I speak of persons from this parish, like Sir Keith Hunt, Professor Woodville Marshall, Professor Henry Fraser, Mr. Graydon Seeley, the former principal of the Garrison Secondary, my good friend Pearson Bellamy, who was a cultural person in this parish, and my campaign manager, Mr. Eddie Ed Emerson Teddy Howard, who has done a very good job in the past 20 years. I want to thank Teddy. And of course, my good friend, Kenneth Hines, uh, who is from this parish. I also want to speak tonight briefly of my friend, I heard Sandia spoke of him a while ago, Dr. Leroy McLean, who grew up in my, Knight's Village just across there, across from Four Rose. And he has worked his way through primary and secondary school right here. He has gone on to do research. Can the Democratic Labour Party not find anybody suitable from St. John to represent this parish? I say to the people of St. John, the present administration has let you down. It has been a disgrace to the legacy of the right excellent Errol Barr and even David Thompson. Everything that Errol Barr stood for has been taken down and burned by this administration. I speak of free secondary tertiary education at university. That was taken down by this present administration. A low tax regime, which the Democratic Labour Party started after 1966, was kicked down by this present administration. High taxation, accountability and responsibility in government, not so this present administration. And of course, the CARICOM movement. Tonight, the present administration does not want anybody from CARICOM to vote, and that is serious. Under Errol Walton Barr, he formed the CARICOM movement, and persons from CARICOM is entitled on the democratic process everywhere in the Commonwealth to vote. But we have the Democratic Labour Party tonight is challenging that movement. I want to say to you tonight that if Errol Barr was still alive, I believe that he will endorse Charles Griffith. I know that he, in his wisdom, could not support the present movement called the Democratic Labour Party. I believe also that Errol Barr, in his wisdom, 
would stridently support Mayor Motley as the next Prime Minister of this country. He would. He could not support a fascist government who believe in full conservatism. This is what this government believe. I want to say to you, the people of St. John, it has been very hard eight years for the people of St. John and indeed all Barbados. Life under the present administration has been very hard. I know and understand what the people of St. John have endured. I lived in this parish right here at Four Rose for many years. My sister and her children and her grandchildren still live at Sherbourne. My aunt, Miss Iris Lewis, live right here at Spooners. And my cousins still live there. I have countless friends in Four Rose. I have a number of supporters who come from Asbury and Golden Ridge to this meeting. I know the struggles that you have been facing and I feel the pain with you because all of us went through the pain and suffering of the Democratic Labour Party. I want to say to the people of St. John that when I first thought about entering elective politics, I thought about St. John too because as I said, I live in this parish. But David Thompson was here. So I went to St. George North and I have been the candidate and the member of parliament from 1994 unbroken thank to my good people of St. George North. And I want to say to you, I understand the loyalty the people of St. John have for the right excellent Errol Barr. I understand the loyalty because he was the first prime minister of independent Barbados. But let's face it, the present prime minister and the Democratic Labour Party have not been good to the people of St. John. Have not been good to the people of St. John. When you look across St. John tonight, you see nothing that the Democratic Labour Party has done in this present term for the people of St. John. They now started to do two rows there at Gold Hill. But when, the stretch, when you look at the stretch from Charo Bridge to St. John, Sergeant Street, you find that the Democratic Labour Party, even Michael Lashley, has done very little for the people of this constituency. They are treating St. John as though it is enemy territory. I could understand if they had not elected a Democratic Labour Party candidate. If they treated St. George badly, I won't mind too bad. Or St. Joseph or St. Andrew. But they have treated St. John people with scant respect. Every time. When you look at the buses coming out here, sometimes you have to wait four hours, five hours for a bus. And the same bus you wait for sometimes break down. It is real terrible. St. John people have suffered under the Democratic Labour Party. I recall as Minister of Housing and Public Works that we had formulated plans to do a number of things in this constituency. From Highway F, those of you who know Highway F, that is Bathsheba, up to Bath, we did that highway. As Minister of Public Works, we also did roads from Charles Road Bridge to St. John Parish Church. We did Massage Street. We did all the roads up to Bath and we were doing work. We completed housing development at Gall Hill. And you know what? We also sold spots at Azores and also Bath. Bath St. John is a land owned by the government of Barbados. And we were able, under the Territory Freehold Purchase Act, to give people at Bath, people at Poole, the people at Sherry Grove, all across St. John, Malvern, lots at 10 cents a square foot. That was the legacy of the Barbados Labour Party tonight. But what do you have? The Democratic Labour Party has done very little in St. John. And we have to remind them that life has been hard under the Democratic Labour Party. I am saying to you that under the Democratic Labour Party, things have been failure after failure. They failed in the economy. Manufacturing, tourism, agriculture. Look at the lands across St. John. They're all in courage. They're all in grass. 
pool, St. John used to have the biggest yams, potatoes, and of course, good hard sugar canes. I am saying to you that the legacy of St. John is now prominent within the Democratic Labour Party. You look at Paul St. John. You look at Todd's. All these plantations are now gone to ruin. And all they do is have courage. All they have well grass. This is a failure. If you look at the roads from Four Roads here to Todd's, the road from Four Roads to Todd is the worst road I have seen in Barbados for a long time. It is now a car road. I do not even believe a donkey car would walk the pass in that road. It's really, really bad. And the Democratic Labour Party has done very little. You look across Barbados and you see. You look across Barbados and you see. That all the roads now have potholes. You cannot pass properly. Your cars need shocks. You buy your shocks today. Tires are burst. All of these things happen on the Democratic Labour Party. I am saying to you. That it is time for the government to step aside. The government continues to hold on to power because they feel that we will run out of time. And the present administration wants to hold on to power as long as they think fit. This is unfair to the people of Barbados. I say to the men and women of St. John, you have to get up and take things in your hand. You have to take time, I understand. But you have to understand that this is serious business. The people of St. John must actively demonstrate that you cannot bring any and everybody here to represent us and we take it. The people must respect the decision. And I say to you that it's time for us politicians to understand that people's voices are important. Your voice is important. If it is one thing I know, that you have a voice this time. Every five years, the people of Barbados have a voice. You have to come out and vote in your large numbers in order to show this government that you mean business. And you know what is happening? The present prime minister is saying that he wants to save Barbados. He said he wants to save Barbados. Save Barbados from what? You only talk about saving if somebody is drunken. You talk about saving if something has fallen into a pit. The Prime Minister is admitting that this country has fallen. He has admitted that this country has fallen and it needs to be saved. I want to say to you tonight that we must sell to the government that we need to save the transport sector. People have to wait too long for buses. We need to save our roads, everywhere, potholes. We need to save our dollar and we need to save tourism. And when the Prime Minister talk about saving, he cannot be talking about the future. He is talking about what has happened to Barbados. He has admitted that the country needs saving. We have to save this country from the present administration. If this present administration is returned to office, I want to say to you, crap or smoke your pipe. You have to understand that this is serious business. The government is holding on to power as long as they can. Right now, there's no oversight of what the government is doing. There's no oversight. And you see the lawlessness that this government has been doing over the past eight years. Taxes upon taxes and SRL. Taxes move from that move from 15% to 7.5%. People cannot find food to eat. Sometimes people cook only one meal per week. Children go to school without funds. I am saying to you, ladies and gentlemen, do not ever think about returning the Democratic their Party to power. Many women and men leave here in St. John to go to work with only bus fares in their pocket. And when they come home at night, the cupboard is empty. Is that not true? It is a fact. And I want to say to the people of St. John and the people of St. George, because my constituency is just over there. And I know that the people of St. George North will elect me again. I know that. I know that. 
And I want the people of St. John to join us. I want the people of St. John to join us. We have to save this country. And don't allow the Prime Minister to come and tell you he wants to save this country. Save what? He is not talking about the future. Because he never said the country wants saving in the future. He said that he wants to save this country. But you know what he wants to do? He has dug the hole. He has put this country in a hole. And he wants to be able to get it out. Don't give him the chance. Because to bring it out, he's going to think about more taxes for you. You can imagine, for the past eight years, civil servants have not got an increase of salary. It is unfair. It is unfair. The minimum wage is still $7 an hour or less than that. There are people in Barbados who still work for 6 and $7 per hour, have not raised on the Democratic Labour Party. I am saying to the people of St. John, you cannot elect the Democratic Labour Party in this next election. And you know something? The Prime Minister said he's going to surprise you. He said he's going to surprise you. He's going to take 21 days. 21 days. So you know what 21 days means? That he is going to come like a thief in the night. And you will not have time. But I have called in Parliament for a fixed election. I believe that we have to be able to clean up a lot of mess that is happening. We cannot take... This thing where a prime minister might come and have an election or might not come. I am saying to you, I am saying to the people of St. John that you have a chance in this election. The coming election is about you, about your children. And you have to ask yourself the question, what is it I am going to leave for my children? It is about your children and the future of Barbados is at stake. I want to say to you tonight that the Barbados Labour Party offers you hope. The Barbados Labour Party offers you hope in the form of Mayor Amor Motley. I want to say to you tonight that the time has come for us to elect the female lady who will move Barbados forward. I want to say to the people of St. George and the people of St. John, stay firm. Stay firm and do not be fooled. Good night and God bless you. Thank you. The Barbados Labour Party moves to Christchurch West yeah. Central at the Briar Hall Plain Field near the Graham Hall Roundabout this Sunday at 7pm. Come here in the rear, Ryan Strawn, Wilfred Abrams, Dr. Will